Hello, welcome to the police report, a presentation of the Northampton Police Department. My name is Sergeant Brian Rust. This is my partner, Officer Al St. Ange. This is the second in a series of monthly shows designed to bring you news and information about your police department. Al, since, uh, since our first show, we had uh, the grad party, the, uh, the high school graduation party for the seniors, a drug-free party. Uh, last time we had Hillary Warner and Molly McGinnis on the show with us. Uh, and it went great. Uh, you weren't there where you were out. No, I didn't, I didn't make the grab party, but it's my understanding that um, this was probably one of the best and You were on vacation, successful. You? I just wanted yeah. to make that point. Yeah, it did. It went very, very well. We held it June 6th, uh, right after the, the high school graduation. Um, it was uh, the eighth or ninth one that I'd been involved in, uh, and it went tremendously well. Uh, it was a great group of kids, uh, a, a great group of parents and committee members who got together and and uh, not only uh, solicited uh, donations and uh, made all the other arrangements to, that need to be made, but uh, uh, were there in, in, in full strength uh, throughout the night. I think the story for me that best um, illustrates uh, what a great group of people these were, uh, they'd been playing volleyball throughout the night uh, after the, the excitement of graduation, and, and they had uh, uh, parents there uh, cooking hot dogs and hamburgers and whatever, and there's just a, a lot of activity throughout the evening. They had a, a, a volleyball tournament where um, uh, they had teamed up and they had prizes, and it went, it went very well. But about 3.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the morning, uh, there was still a group playing volleyball. They'd finished the, the tournament, but uh, where they were playing volleyball, and at one point the ball got loose and went off into a group. Uh, another group of kids was sitting there talking. And at that one point, the girl got up and picked up the ball and threw it back to the volleyball player, who actually said, uh, thank you very much. And I thought, um, not only was that unusual sometimes uh, uh, in society today, but uh, the fact that they still said it at 3, three o'clock in the morning was uh, really an indication of what a great group of, uh, of people they were. We've also been busy with a triad program. Um, triad is a, 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 a cooperative effort of uh, Council on Aging. Uh, the local district attorney's office and the police department. Uh, we, are, we have formed uh, what's called the SALT Council, Seniors and Law Enforcement Together. We've had a couple of meetings. Um, it has, has, has worked very well. It's kind of a, a slow building thing, but uh, uh, we're really looking forward to, to being a, um, a very positive uh, influence in the community as, as time goes on. Irene Lampson from the Council of Aging has just done a great job in organizing. Uh, uh, David Lloyd done a great job from DA's office helping out. Last week they had a, a speaker. A representative from 9X, I believe. They did, talking about phone fraud. 
Uh, we didn't make that meeting, but we weren't on vacation. We should point that out. No, we were actually up at a symposium in New Hampshire at St. Anselm's. Um, we had a, a seminar we taught up there on a Citizens Police Academy. It went very well. And we will talk about that. Uh, another group that we've been uh, involved with, as we, we told you on the first show, we'd like to keep you up to date with some of the many groups in the community that are uh, working with the, the police department to improve the quality of life in Northampton. And one of those is Tenants in Action, a tenants group in Hampshire Heights. Uh, they've done a number of, of, of great organizing things uh, throughout the, the last year. We've met with them several times on some safety issues and crime prevention issues. Uh, they've just done a lot of things to help their neighborhood a better place, uh, be a better place. Uh, Two weeks ago Saturday, they did a, an entire day on, on drunk driving awareness, aimed specifically at uh, teenagers, uh, but certainly for the community as a whole. And they had dancing, they had food, uh, they had speakers. We also did a, a recreation of a drunk driving arrest where Sergeant Nickel and Officer McCarthy from the police department came up and um, uh, went through a simulated arrest. And uh, it was really quite, uh, uh, quite dramatic. and. Uh, uh, was taken very seriously. It's, it was a great example of, again, people getting together to, uh, to, to improve the quality of life in their neighborhood. Public Voices, uh, the kids' newspaper from uh, Meadowbrook. Uh, the kids got together and they've done, again, a number of activities helping to make their, their neighborhood a better place in which to live. And they did a, uh, an all-day uh, activity at, uh, at Meadowbrook. They had uh, dances, they had food, they had uh, displays. Uh, we were up there doing some bicycle registration. Um, just another great example of, uh, of, of community members really taking uh, the forefront and, and, and making some changes. Officer Block was up there and assisted uh, that day. Dan Block, one of our bike officers, came in and, and uh, did uh, some demonstrations on uh, the bicycle patrol techniques. Uh, and hasn't he recently been uh, made the school resource officer? Right, Dan uh, is, is our new school resource officer. He'll be in the middle school and high school starting in September. And we should have him on maybe next month uh, to, to talk a little bit about that program. That's another great, great step ahead that we've done. Um, speaking of steps ahead, we've had a number of awards and uh, honors from the police department that we'd like to, to make mention of. Uh, the first one was um, uh, back in early June. Uh, Sergeant Tom O'Connor received the Major John Regan Award from the New England Narcotics Association, uh, Narcotics Officers Association, I should make that distinction. Uh, and it was a result of an investigation that uh, Sergeant O'Connor initiated uh, back some time ago. Uh, turned out to be a major drug investigation led to an arrest in New Hampshire uh, and was traced uh, back uh, into an international case back into Columbia uh, and as well as many states throughout New England. So it was, it was really quite an honor for him to receive yeah. that. And, and, and uh, uh, deservedly so. Officer Preston Horton, uh, one of our bike patrol officers, also received an award. He uh, received the Public Service Award from the Massachusetts Gay and Lesbian Bar Association uh, in Boston uh, for his uh, many efforts, his continued public service uh, to uh, the community in general, but specifically around uh, gay and lesbian issues. Uh, another well-deserved honor. Um, and I think that is, is representative of the caliber of personnel that make up uh, this police department, and we as a community should all be proud of, of both their efforts. As you mentioned uh, before, uh, we were in uh, New Hampshire last week yep. at St. Anselm's College. It wasn't for a vacation. Um, we had the honor of presenting a workshop on uh, Citizen Police Academies. Uh, it was attended by uh, 300 uh, police agencies from throughout New England. Um, it was, uh, again, quite an honor to be, to be asked uh, to present there, uh, to be recognized for our efforts in, in the community and the Citizen Police Academies that we've uh, performed over the last year and a half. And uh, uh, it, it was a good time. And, yep. uh, Things went very well. One of the most important things that's happened uh, since our last show is the graduation of the DEER program here in Northampton. Um, we are very privileged to have had the D.A.R.E. program in Northampton for the last nine years. We are the first community in Massachusetts to have the D.A.R.E. program. And I was very fortunate this year to be joined uh, by a second D.A.R.E. officer from, for the city of Northampton, and again, my partner, Officer El St. Ange. Now, now let's start with what D.A.R.E. stands for. Oh, D.A.R.E. is an acronym. It stands for uh, Drug Abuse Resistance Education. And this year we had um, 11 classes. 11 classes that graduated in the sixth grade curriculum 
We actually start right in kindergarten. Uh, as far yeah. As the Dare well, uh, we're unique in that area in that uh, in Northampton we do the Dare program from kindergarten through grade six, uh, the exit, uh, the exit elementary grade, um, and that's really the core of the program was the the, the senior elementary uh, grade. And now, if you kind of run through some of the, the curriculum of that senior ele uh, elementary uh, grade, we, again, we, we do it through kindergarten through grade six, but the sixth grade really is the core of it. Uh, talk a little bit yeah, about the, uh, what we talked to them about. Well, there's a, there's a lot of building um, in kindergarten through the sixth grade. Uh, all of our lessons kind of kind of build on to uh, what happens in the, in the sixth grade. But uh, there are a lot of areas that we talk about. Um, resistance skills, we talk about peer pressure or different sources of pressure, whether it be from the, the media, uh, personal pressure, or family pressure, um, peer pressure. Some different levels of peer pressure going anywhere from from friendly, um, where someone would offer you something in a, in a friendly type of way, building up through um, teasing type peer pressure, which each and every one, by the time they get in the sixth grade, are experts in, the, in teasing type peer pressure. Um, indirect pressure, and then we get into um, heavy peer pressure, or heavy pressure itself, uh, which could be a combination of any one of them. Um, a lot of other other issues we talk about uh, self-esteem, which self-esteem can be um, a hard subject for even some some grown-ups to try and uh, deal with and, and grasp. And it's it's, but they do remarkably well. We should say it's, it's over the course of 17 weeks that yep. uh, the, the the sixth grade uh, curriculum is, is set. Um, once and once a week uh, we go in that for a 45 minute session uh, for those 17 weeks. We spend all day at, uh, at each of uh, our four elementary schools. We're there in the morning when they come in and teach a few classes, up to as many as six classes a day, uh, and then they're there when they, they go home at the end of the day. The end of the day. A large part of uh, the D.A.R.E. program is building the relationship with the officer, uh, seeing the police uh, as community helpers, as someone to go to when you need assistance, when you need advice. And I think that's been one of the real strengths of this program uh, throughout the country. And it's now in all 50 states and uh, 15 foreign countries. It's the largest uh, drug education program in the world at this time. One of, one of the things you mentioned, the, the rapport that uh, the officer will build with, uh, build with the students. A couple of things before we get into actually reading of the essays. Um, there's been a lot of talk uh, recently, um, some articles as to whether or not DARE, Dare works, or it talks about its rapport. Uh, can you give me some examples of some of the things that have just happened just recently now um, within Northampton talking about the rapport and the relationship the officer builds with, with the kids. Yeah, that's a good point and I hadn't planned on bringing it up but there have been a number of incidents recently which I think point out um, the value of the program in, in developing relationships and, and changing images and changing uh, perceptions. Um, I'm very proud uh, to announce that the uh, JFK uh, Middle School uh, your book was dedicated to me this year. Uh, um, uh, I was very surprised to have it happen, and, and I, I'm really quite honored that it did. Uh, and, again, I think that speaks to uh, the relationship uh, that is built between uh, the students and, and, and the police officer and, and how very unique that really is. Uh, I was uh, extremely proud uh, when I attended the high school graduation this year as a student uh, that I'd had in the sixth grade and had had some contact with uh, throughout her high school uh, career, uh, walked by to have, see my name on her on her mortar board, which I thought was, uh, was again was a great honor. Yeah. One of our sixth grades this year, uh, walking on the way to school, found a bag of marijuana, recognized it as that, uh, made a decision to call the police department, and was recognized for that uh, by the police department for uh, his uh, appropriate decision making and uh, uh, making a proper choice. And again, I think that's what it's all about. It's about decisions and, and choices. And uh, uh, I think it's making a difference. Okay. Rather than have us uh, go on and on about what wonderful program it is and what wonderful people we are and what wonderful kids they, so these all are, and I think we should take the opportunity to, to say hello to all our, our dear kids out there yep. who, who's, who uh, comment on yep. us from time to time. Uh, uh, they're, they're waiting to see this, actually. They, during class, they all, we mentioned that uh, you know, there were some different things happening. and. Uh, you know, they're, they're waiting to see the show. We need that to build our audience. Uh, rather than us going on and on about this, we'd like to 
have you hear about the DARE program in the words of, uh, of our students. At the end of the program, uh, each student is asked to write a short essay entitled, My Plan to, to uh, Resist Drugs and Violence. Uh, we get some wonderful entries every year. Um, from those entries, we select one student from each class to read at the graduation ceremony that we have for the DARE program at the end of the year. Uh, we, this year, we've asked them to read it again for our camera, uh, and they were joined by uh, the other members of their class. And we'd just like to have you hear uh, from the words of these uh, very special uh, students. drugs and violence. In the future, if someone comes up to me and asks me if I will try drugs or alcohol, I plan to say no. They keep asking me, I will walk away. I feel this way because the dear officers have taught me that drugs and alcohol affect the way the mind and body work. I don't want to do drugs or alcohol because right now I'm a good student and if I did them, it would most likely affect my grades. I also like to play sports and this would be affected too. Another reason I don't want to do drugs is because my family and friends would probably be very disappointed in me. And I don't want that to happen. The most prominent reason for not using drugs, I feel, not, is not necessarily sports or being able to ride your bike. Though these everyday actions do play a very important role in most of our lives, I feel genuine friends, your family trusting you, and for those of us who think strongly of our images, the way others feel or look at you, and I would hope that most would like to be looked at positively. Being under the influence takes away the chance of our voices being heard. And how would you change the world, world, which most people do, if no one trusted your motives or your opinion? Sure, Saddam Hussein puffed on big cars and Hitler took drags, but where are these people now? Hitler's dead and Saddam started a huge war and destroyed the ocean by dumping millions of gallons of crude oil in the sea. Are these the people you want to hang out with? Deciding to say drug-free is a choice you must make as an individual. Dare has helped me stabilize my shaky opinion of the pros and cons and of how the media portrays them. I'm proud to say I'm a, I am and will continue to be a drug and alcohol-free individual. This is my plan to resist drugs. If someone offers me drugs, I plan to say no and walk away. I feel I have the right to say no because I don't want to end up with out in education, without a job, and without a home. I also don't want to lose the trust of my family and my friends. I'm concerned for my health because I don't want to end up dead before I have any children or get grandchildren. I also using drugs may change the way I act and work with people. I will. I can fix. I can say no because the Deer program has given me the strength to never use drugs. Good job. <laughs>
Some people might think beer is a waste of time, but I think drugs are a bigger waste of time. I plan to stay drug free for the rest of my life. I wasn't planning on doing drugs, but Dare helped me to see what drugs do to you, and even better reasons not to do drugs. I won't do drugs because they are legal, makes you totally uncool, and kill brain cells. Drugs also eventually kill you. I feel this way about not doing drugs because I value my life and the lives of others. If I drink and drive, I can kill others, and if I do drugs, others who look up to me might do drugs and then die. One of my family members smoked, and this could influence me and my two brothers, but I know not to smoke. I'm glad this person doesn't smoke too much, but smoking just a little can hurt you. All through my life, I am influenced by others, but still, I know not to do drugs or smoke. Walking through downtown helps me make a non-smoking decision. A lot of people sitting outside are smoking. I hope Massachusetts becomes a smoke-free state and people learn not to do drugs. Once again, I value life and will not smoke, drink, or do drugs. Ask me to use drugs. I would say no thanks and walk away. They kept pressuring me. I would look straight into their eyes and say no, or try to change the subject. I say this because throughout the years of Dale, I've learned that drug and alcohol abuse can do to you and your mind. Officer Lost, Officer St. Lies, and Mr. C have taught me about all the diseases that cigarettes and drugs can cause, including cancer. I hope when I graduate college, I will have resisted drugs and, that, and I can be proud of what I've accomplished and that I still have the feelings against drugs that I have today. It shows them how to take a stand and say no to the bad things, like drugs and fighting. But you can say yes to the good things, like having a healthy body and doing well in school. Some drugs are good for you, like prescriptions from the doctor are vitamins that help to keep you healthy. Drugs that are bad, like LSD, marijuana, and cocaine, make you act and feel differently. Cigarettes are also dangerous. Did you know if you smoke two packs of cigarettes a day for a year, it's like pouring a couple of the gooey part of tar into your lungs. Cigarettes also contain rat poisoning, bleach, and nicotine. Nicotine is addictive and makes you keep on wanting more. I hope you do not smoke because it's bad for your body and it could make you sick. You could also die. Dare is a program that taught me to say no to drugs and has taught me to say yes to, the, say yes to sports and good friends. This year, in the Dare program, I have learned more about drugs and what they do to you than any other year in the Ryan Art School. In the beginning of the year, when Officer Rest and Officer St. Ange walked into my classroom, they were stern with us and didn't joke around like they did in previous years. But I'm glad they acted like this, because this year at the D.A.R.E. program, I have learned a lot about drugs and what they do to your body. Officer Rest and Officer St. Ange taught us ways to say no and how to lead a healthy, drug-free life. Some people in my class told stories of family members and friends who had, who had taken drugs and gotten hurt or even killed. One of the stories was about a boy I knew, and I felt bad that he was joining his life with drugs. Many of the stories scared me, and I swore to myself never, never to take drugs. I care about my health, and I know how drugs can change your, change your life. Drugs weaken your ability to play sports and think clearly. Right now, my life is healthy and drug-free, and I pledge to stay that way for the rest of my life. What I think about drugs. Drugs, chemicals that affect the way your mind and body work. Drugs are not a plus, but a minus if you use them correctly. They can change your appearance, make you smell bad, can lead you to crime, and most importantly, changes your thinking. It makes you do things you normally would never do. During the years I've attended there, I've learned to put a value on important things in my life. These important things are my body, my health, sports such as soccer, my friends and what they think of me, and my family. Dare has shown how using drugs could dramatically change this value in my life. Dare has also helped me to learn how to say no to drugs and how to walk away from them and get help. Writing this essay has also made me think of all the people I really like to thank. My parents for supporting the program, the teachers for being leaders in school, friends for sharing what they think, and most of all, the Dare officers give so much of their time and effort to teaching kids about I will never use drugs as an alternative to my problems. 
My problems will always be there until I solve them. Drugs just take over your mind, putting you out of control. You may use violence when under the influence of drugs or take risks that are not necessary without thinking about the consequences. Many kids also use drugs if they are afraid to say no and their self-esteem is low. Kids are sometimes so unsure of themselves they use drugs to try to act cool or feel better without really realizing that they are actually killing themselves. Drugs cause cancer, heart problems, and lung disease, among others. All of these can eventually lead to death. People will pressure you and try to get you to take drugs. They will tell you that drugs are cool, but they aren't. By taking drugs, you are deliberately destroying yourself, your life, your self-respect, and the respect you deserve from others. All drugs are highly addictive, so once you start, you usually can't stop without a lot of help, work, time, and money. I will never use drugs. I have the right to be safe and respected as a person. I will not have one of those rights. I believe I am a confident person. I will accomplish everything I want and need to do, but drugs will not be my answer. My plan to use drugs and alcohol. I have really learned a lot from the DARE program. This year, no doubt, I learned the most of all. I learned different ways to put pressure to use drugs or drink alcohol, and how to be prepared when you get asked to drink or use drugs. I know that I will not use drugs and alcohol. Some of my friends do, and I will have to be ready for that too. I am sure next year I will at least be offered the chance to smoke. I know what smoking can do to my body. It is the number one killer in the U.S. It can give you diseases like heart disease, lung cancer, and emphysema. Therefore, I will never smoke. Some of the things I want to do when I leave, when I get older, I will not be able to do if I drink and use drugs, like playing sports or having any good kind of job. Drugs and alcohol will not bring me the future. No matter how cool people say it is, drinking, smoking, or using drugs is not cool. You will not be popular and you will just be more stupid. <coughs> there will be situations where I will have to use my knowledge <coughs> that the D.A.R.E. program has given me. And it won't be an easy situation. It might mean losing a friend, but I will make the right choice. I will see many different kinds of pressure and it certainly won't be easy. Well, the same. I think the DARE program is very good and I have learned so much. I hope that drugs and alcohol abuse will stop. At the DARE graduation at Jackson Street School, we had a wonderful surprise. Um, the song that you've heard in the beginning of our show and at the closing, um, the students had gotten together. Uh, they only had about a week's worth of time to get this together they, and they worked real hard and you're going to see them at our closing uh, performing a song. And it was really great to have them, have them get together and do all that. It was. It was, it was a great surprise and uh, we, we, we really appreciate it. Uh, um, and again, I think it talks to that, to that relationship issue. And uh, uh, We thank you for watching and uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can write us at the police report. Northampton Police Department, 29 Center Street in Northampton. Thank you.